Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial this time showing you the power of the mask tool So basically, I'm just gonna get a little bit more in depth with using the mask tool So I'm gonna open up a photo here And assuming that you already know how to use the mask tool within layers so for example if I duplicate this layer and I make the background layer blurry and then I show the first layer and I add a mask and I paint in with black you know it's going to mask it out and make the background blurry okay well there's a little bit more to this I'm gonna go ahead and delete this mask and I'm going to go to window masks and this is gonna open up the mask dialog window and what the mask dialog window does is it provides you with some more flexibility while using masks for example if I take the lasso tool and I make a real quick rough selection of his face now this is a real rough selection okay and I come over here and select add pixel mask you can see what it did was it added a mask within my selection so everything around here is blurry except for his face which shows up clear and that's all because of this mask we have now some of the options we have is the flexibility to change the density of the mask this basically means how powerful the mask is you can see it's kind of grayed out and then it gets darker and darker which enhances the mask all the way to full power 100 percent density and we also have a feather that we can bring out and it feathers out the mask to make my rough selection much better now you can also refine your mask edge or even choose a color range of colors that you'd like to be masked and even invert the mask so if I invert it you can see his face is blurry now uh, because he doesn't want to be seen on TV he just stole some things maybe that explains why I'm missing my socks every time I dry a pair of socks you know they end up missing my theory is that he lockpicks the door comes in takes my socks from the dryer and leaves and that that probably explains the loud noises I hear in the middle of the night and the trail of cocoa puffs on the ground from my laundry room to the door and they they look like cocoa puffs but but trust me they are not well at least they don't taste like them also you got the little trash can down here in which you can delete the mask uh, show or hide the mask and even apply the mask or load selection from mask all right well I want to show you one other thing I'm gonna go ahead and delete this mask and I'm going to select the rectangular marquee tool and just select the main focal point of this picture just like that then I'm gonna go into my adjustments window if that's not visible you can go to window adjustments and I'm gonna add a black and white adjustment layer go back to my masks and you can see that I have this new adjustment layer with the mask since I had an area selected it created that mask automatically for me now that we have our mask dialog window open we can apply all these settings to the mask on our adjustment layer for example we can adjust the feather you know the density or even invert the selection so that everything in the background is black and white while all this is in color so maybe I can bring the feather down invert the selection double click on my layer mask add some layer styles we can add a stroke and even a drop shadow if you want now watch this since our mask is on its own separate adjustment layer we can make sure our move tool is selected and move this around now you can treat this just like a normal layer you can even go to edit free transform and decrease the size and position it where you want it so those are some real quick basic tips of the mask tool here in Photoshop there are a few other things that the mask tool does do that I did not cover in this tutorial but might cover in a future tutorial so be sure you subscribe for weekly tutorials just like this one and hopefully you learned something today thank you for watching and until next time take care